Oops. Hello. Sorry about that. Some lessons learned this week. Uh, well, you know, the uh, volcanoes. Still loving the volcano, but uh, got some lessons learned. Um, the uh, <coughs> volcano batteries, as you know, are made in China. And anybody who knows carpentry knows that Chinese threading does wacky shit like that where you just can't screw it on anymore. The threading just dies. And I have a volcano bat that I can't even screw in. The other one completely died so now I'm down to one battery. Um, one of my my charger for the magma batteries, the uh, no fault of volcanoes, it was my fault. I don't leave it connected to a battery in your pocket because it'll rip it out. Just and now I have to order a new uh, new charger. Uh, so I'm down to a one volcano bat. Uh, however, I did talk to a friend of mine who was a uh, who I got into vaping, and he uh, kindly dropped off. Uh, a couple nifty things for me. He dropped off a his one of his V2s, one of the V2 cigarettes, with a USB pass through. Very handy. And you know, uh, when I make my next order from Volcano, I'm ordering one more Volcano battery, the charger for the magma, and the magma USB pass through, because the USB pass through. You know, especially when I'm just sitting at home, which is when I do most of my vaping, what you do is you plug it directly in to a USB thing. Here you go. There it is. I plug directly in. Big old wire goes to the SIG, um, and it just provides constant power. It's not like charging batteries and changing them. Good idea if you're just sitting around the house not doing anything, plug it into your laptop, plug it into your, your wall charger, or whatever. Uh, I think the Volcano, the, the one they offer for, for the Magma is 7 feet, which is anywhere close to your outlet, you can plug it straight in. And what it does, it gives you this nice, nice uh, straight line to, uh, to your e-cig, and it's constant power. So it's also a constant vapes. Now the other thing is he's using these V2s and I discovered, you know, even though they look like 510s, <coughs> oops, they're different. Um, <coughs> his have a male battery with a female cardamizer. Um, which is kind of strange to me. I've never seen that before. And the carnomizer is a little difficult. What you got to do, the, the atomizer is actually built in to the cart there. I mean, it's just the battery and the cart. And what you got to do, and this is kind of weird, they don't give you a tool for this either. I'm using a, a mini screwdriver here. You gotta pop the little top off. It gives you a little rubber top, and it's got the uh, it's got the the stuff down in there. And you take your uh, your e liquid. Again, highly recommend Tasty Vapors. Uh, drop a few drops down in there. and then close it again. Um, <clears throat> so I mean I'm getting a little experience with with his e-cig, his choice of e-cig which again you know not a bad thing try as many as you can to find something you like but I'm, I'm really talking about the USB pass-through that that whole deal 
that's that's a great idea, especially on uh, on weekends when you're just you know sitting around watching movies on Netflix. Doesn't matter what you're doing; it's kind of ridiculous. To keep recharging batteries. Just set your laptop on your table there in front of your couch, or run the cable to the to the power cord and. Vape away. Vape away. Alright. Love you guys. Talk to you again soon. Later.